Once upon a time, several decades ago, a very large aircraft was being developed by the Russian firm Buryev. It was designed to carry over 1 million pounds and fly both through high altitude and across seas via ground effect. The BE-2500 was actually never built, but there have been recent developments which push the limits of aircraft design. So let's take a look at some of the most incredible aircraft ever made. At number 10, the Antonov An-22. The Ante is still the biggest propeller aircraft in the world. It has a 211 foot wingspan and around 170,000 pound payload capacity. The turboprops produce around 15,000 horsepower each, giving the craft around a speed of 460 miles per hour. As of right now, there are only three Ante still working, but they are planned to be in service until 2033. At number 9, the TU-160. One of the biggest bombers out there is the White Swan, and it's powered by four Samara turbofans. It has a maximum takeoff weight of around 600,000 pounds, and with a top speed of Mach 2, this is one of the deadliest aircraft in the world. The bomber can carry a lot of different weapons, including long-range missiles and even nuclear bombs. A few different variants were made, with the 160M being the latest and greatest model under development. But if you like supersonic bombers, then I can't go without mentioning the XB-70, which was an experimental jet in similar size, but it could achieve Mach 3, aka the Valkyrie. This was built all the way back in the 1960s, so it kind of makes you wonder what they're building right now. At number 8, the iconic C-5 Galaxy. Lockheed's legendary C-5 is the backbone to the United States Air Force. With the first variant flying in 1968, it has remained in service for over 50 years. The behemoth can carry over 285,000 pounds. This equates to two M1 Abrams tanks or even six Apache Longbow attack helicopters. So it is vital in transporting military operations. But my favorite thing about the C5 is that it can take off and land in very short distances. So it can get into tight areas with spans less than 5,000 feet. At number seven, the Airbus Beluga XL. The all new Beluga Flying Whale is the largest commercial cargo jet in the world even bigger than the iconic Dreamlifter. It has over 70,000 cubic feet in cargo volume, and it tips the weight scale in at over a half a million pounds fully loaded. It's powered by two Rolls-Royce turbofans, which clock in at 71,000 foot-pounds each. This allows the aircraft to deliver cargo to over 2,600 miles away. And ironically, this jet is a lot bigger than its real-life counterpart, with the ability to carry over 80 real living beluga whales. At number six, the H4 Hercules. With a name resembling something out of a cartoon, the Spruce Goose was a pretty short-lived aircraft. Nevertheless, it did make one flight in 1947. The Goose was intended to be used as a transatlantic flight transport in World War II, but evidently, it arrived a little bit late. Over eight 3,000 horsepower engines propelled the beast to over 250 miles per hour. It also has one of the longest wingspans at 320 feet, which set the record for many years. But my favorite thing about this aircraft is that it's perfectly preserved at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. At number 5, the iconic MI-26. With an elusive secret operative name, the MI-26 stands out as the biggest helicopter ever made. Designed and built by the Moscow-based Miller Helicopters, the Halo can lift over 44,000 pounds thanks to its two 11,000 horsepower engines. In turn, this can pick up rich billionaire jets and carry them roughly 500 miles away. At number 4, the Hindenburg. No other aircraft comes close to the size of the infamous Hindenburg airship. They were over 800 feet long and 135 feet wide, longer than three 747s placed end to end. And even though there was over 7 million cubic feet of explosive hydrogen, there was still a smoking room. You gotta love those old days. The airship was able to carry over 70 passengers to a speed of 84 miles per hour. But on May 6, there was a tragic accident which killed over 36 people. Now some speculate this was due to atmospheric conditions, but there is no definitive explanation on what really happened that day. At number 3, the Airbus A380. Now obviously we cannot have a top 10 list without the biggest passenger aircraft. Over 230 A380s have been built so far, and the jets are not cheap at over 440 million apiece. The jet can seat over 500 people and typically has a range of 8,000 miles. Now, the A380 is not going to be taking over the skies anytime soon, as Airbus is actually slowing down production of the Giant. This is partially due to smaller jets offering greater distance and efficiency, so we probably won't see any triple-decker planes flying anytime soon. At number 2, the AN-225. 
Developed by Antonov and the former Soviet Union, this plane is indeed massive. It can carry over 400,000 pounds thanks to its six D-18 turbofans. Its pressurized cargo hold is pretty much a warehouse at over 46,000 cubic feet in volume and over 142 feet in length, which is longer than the first flight of the Wright Flyer. The 225 was initially developed to carry the Buran space plane, which was pretty much a space shuttle clone, but it still carries cargo to this date, with one plane possibly being converted to a space launch vehicle. Ultimately, this plane holds many records and is a true goliath in the sky. At number 1, the Great Strato Launch. Built by Scale Composites, this plane pushed through criticism and just made its maiden flight. Its objective is to launch smaller vehicles and make orbitable spaceflight more affordable and reliable. The plane is really big, with six 747 engines which allows for a half a million pounds payload capacity. Some payload examples include the Pegasus Orbital Rocket and even a fully reusable space plane. And I think that most of us can agree that we need more ways to access space, and hopefully the shuttle launch will prove to be a gateway vehicle to the infinity. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.